Okay, so this feature isn't brand new anymore, but it's only been available to all users for a couple of months. So I wanted to let you in on it in case you weren't aware that it was added or if you're not sure how it works. Hi, I'm Samantha, here to help you organize and systemize your business operations so that you can save time and mental energy and focus on what you love to do. So this notes feature is a really exciting new feature for Asana and one that has been highly requested. So let's get into Asana and I will show it to you. And at the end, I'll go over what I feel the feature is missing and hopeful updates for the future. Leave me a comment below letting me know how you plan on using the notes feature or how you're already using it. I would love to know. All right, so once you're in your project, you'll see, so you have the overview, list, board, the different options up here, and you'll see this plus option here. And this is where you're going to find the new, brand new note feature. Okay, so you're gonna click here, and then you can um, add a name to your note if you wish as well, but we're just gonna leave it as note for the purposes of this video. Okay, so you'll see you can add a title. They even have some templates here that you can play around with using um, if you wanted to um, do that. Or you can just start with a blank note. So we're just gonna start with a blank note. And so we can add a title here and we can just start typing. We can add different like blocks. Um, so, you know, they have all of these options that they also have within tasks as well. So it's really not, a whole lot different than you know what we're already used to working with within the asana tasks like for example if you go here and you go into a task here you'll see that you have all of these options as well right here so it's very similar they've kept it consistent um you'll also see all of these options up here so if you start typing for example this is my new note i can never think of what to type okay um and then you know you can um change any of the these options up here as well and highlight it you know bold it italicize it any of those things a really cool feature um is that you can highlight it and you can create a task from it. So this will turn into a task right within the project that you are working in. So say I'm just typing away notes about, you know, this new product that I'm working on, product, and, you know, this is a bullet point, I'm making a list of notes, and then I can, oh, this is a task, you know, I need to create a mock-up of this graphic um, or a mock-up graphic for this product. Uh, so I can highlight that. I can create a task for it and then you'll see it turn into a task right in front of your eyes. You can click on it and then you can start editing this task, assign it to someone, assign a due date, etc. You can even move it to a different project if you know it didn't fit within this project. But assuming that it did, it's really great that it just populates right within this project. So then if I go to my list, I will see it right here and I can just you know start using it as an actual task, which is a really great feature. Other than that, it is, again, very similar to a task. So there's not much else you can do with it. Um, and you'll see like there's no options for like creating sections or anything like that. So it is just like this ongoing document. So something that I've started doing uh, is taking daily reflection notes on different areas of my business, like what went well, what didn't things like that. So like I'd have a list like what went well. Well, actually I had it separated into separate notes. I've been playing around with different things. Um, you could have, you know, lists, you could have, you can have more than one note too, which is really cool. So like if I wanted here and I wanted this to be what went well, um, for example, and then I could just type in that and then I could have this be the date and then the bullet point list underneath that. Um, I found that to be really helpful because as I was writing down my thoughts and ideas, I was able to turn any idea I had into an actual task just by highlighting them and converting them like I showed you. Okay, so this feature is pretty simple and I'm really looking forward to what it will turn into in the future, but I do acknowledge that it's a good start and something that is much needed in Asana. When I create systems for my clients, simplicity and structure are key to success so I'm hoping Asana will evolve this tool to allow for more organized, comprehensive project planning. I'm also hoping for more structure and navigation options instead of an endless document. Things like toggle options, headings, or pages that you can more easily navigate through would make this way more usable. 
I'd also love to be able to link directly to a specific note. For me, this would make a huge difference in the way that I could see myself using it. Okay, so for me, I honestly haven't found a ton of use for this feature as it currently stands. In its previous absence, I found workarounds and ways to have notes within projects in other ways. So until Asana adds in the things that I've mentioned I'm hoping to see in the future, I will probably continue to experiment and play with it, but currently I'm only finding it useful to my workflow for just taking simple notes or thoughts to work things out or to later develop into actual tasks. That being said, I'm always on the lookout for ways to streamline my work, and I'm excited to see how this feature grows and how other people are using it. So if you're like me and you want to systemize your business with Asana, check out my free Asana SOP bank system at the link in the description. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I will see you next week. Bye.